This is for all you guys that don't have a Ninja Creamy. This is a no churn recipe. It's super easy. All we're gonna do is combine some coconut milk, some condensed milk, and some pistachios. Whip it up, we're gonna freeze it, and then it's all set to go. So our first step is to grind our pistachios down into a paste or a butter. If you have pistachio butter, that's awesome. You can skip this step. We are grinding it in our Ninja blender. I did have a little bit of trouble. The oils weren't releasing from the seeds, so you'll see that I added some liquid from the bottom of the coconut milk can to try to get it to blend a little better, but I like to have chunks in my ice cream, so we didn't blend it to perfectly smooth. If you don't like chunks, then you're gonna blend it perfectly smooth or grab a pistachio butter because that will give you the most smoothest consistency. Once you've got a nice pistachio paste, we're going to transfer our cold coconut milk. We've got two cans that we threw in the fridge overnight. This isn't to separate the coconut milk from the water. This is more so that cold coconut milk whips up better. So we're just gonna scoop the entire can out into a bowl and we're gonna use our KitchenAid stand mixer. You can use a hand mixer here too. That works totally fine. Next, we're gonna add our sweetened condensed milk. This is a recipe that we made ourselves using maple syrup. We do have a video with a recipe that make it from scratch. All it takes is a can of coconut milk and your sweetener of choice. Then you can make this completely sugar-free and keto-friendly. Then we're adding our pistachio paste into the mix, and then we're gonna just whip this up till it's nice and smooth and fluffy. Then we're gonna pour it into a loaf pan. If you wanna freeze it for scooping, you're gonna freeze it about six hours or overnight so it's nice and solid. And then right before you wanna scoop, you're gonna let it defrost for maybe 20 minutes so it's scoopable. Once you let it defrost, it'll scoop really nicely. We were impatient as always and only let this freeze for a couple of hours. So you'll notice when we're scooping that the top is frozen and the inside is still like a fluffy whipped cream. It's absolutely delicious that way. It tastes like pistachio whipped cream but you're gonna want to freeze a little bit more to get it an ice cream consistency another fun way you can do is to scoop it with a cookie scoop or spoons and just put it on a parchment lined cookie sheet and then once it's frozen this takes this is a lot faster to freeze in about two hours they'll be frozen solid and you can dip them in chocolate or eat them as is as little ice cream bites and if you'd like to try another no-churn recipe of ours, you can check this one out next. 